With its open city, impact-heavy racing, smashable billboards, and cooperative online challenges, Need for Speed Most Wanted immediately recalls Criterion's earlier game, Burnout Paradise. While its intense police pursuits are reminiscent of their earlier Need for Speed effort, Hot Pursuit. By combining these elements, Criterion gives Most Wanted its own identity. But although it delivers plenty of the hard-hitting, white-knuckle racing Criterion is known for, it doesn't do so quite as well as some of their earlier games. Driving, racing, and eluding the police are really enjoyable for the most part. Cars have a great sense of weight and momentum to them, while still being extremely responsive. And judicious use of the brakes and a little bit of practice will have you blissfully drifting through corners at high speed. Winning events and unlocking mods that can make a good car better is rewarding. Curiously unrewarding is the process of building up your car collection. Rather than buying or winning them, you just find cars all over Fairhaven. As a result, car collecting in Most Wanted lacks the sense of accomplishment so many racing games instill by letting you gradually earn access to better vehicles. The reason cars are just waiting at set points, called jack spots, is so that if you get the cops on your tail as you're roaming around the city, you can pull up to a car's jack spot and hop into it, reducing your heat level a bit. Your heat level determines just how much effort the police are putting into bringing you down. At the lowest level, you might have a few cop cruisers on your tail, but as it increases, the police start setting up roadblocks in your path, and Corvette interceptors speed along in front of you, deploying spike strips that can seriously diminish your car's handling. Speed points, which you need to accumulate to take on Fairhaven's most wanted racers, are earned during police pursuits, but you only get to keep them if you eventually escape, get busted, and you earn nothing. It's a good risk versus reward system that leads to some extremely tense moments. Unfortunately, shaking off your pursuers can often feel like as much a matter of luck as of skill. Police are tenacious in their pursuit of you, maybe a little too tenacious. In the game's faster cars, speed can often be your savior, but in the more everyday models, it often feels like you don't have a fighting chance. The available events for each car come in a few varieties. There are standard checkpoint races against other cars, which sometimes attract the attention of the police. In speed runs, you try to maintain the highest possible average speed on a course. And ambushes start with you surrounded by cops. Your goal is to lose them in as little time as possible. Though fun in faster cars, ambushes can be maddening in the game's more ordinary autos. Some of the most fun you can have in Fairhaven happens not during events, but just when you're cruising around town. Fairhaven is filled with billboards that, once smashed, become notices about one of the city's most wanted drivers. If you get more air when crashing through that billboard than any of your friends have gotten, you see your own gamer pick or avatar gracing the sign. However, if one of your friends has soared farther than you in destroying that billboard, it will be him or her you see displayed and few things are more motivating than the prospect of smashing your friends' faces and their records. You can also hop online with friends or strangers for traditional multiplayer competition, but this is frustratingly uneven. You can participate in races, team races, speed tests, and challenges, though you can't just do an event as a one-off. Oddly, you must do events in groups of five, which are called speed lists. Traditional races are great, though the absence of police in online play feels like a missed opportunity. And challenges leave a lot to be desired. Though they were great fun in Burnout Paradise, here the design of challenges often makes them a chore, and vague instructions can sometimes result in you spending a few minutes just trying to figure out exactly what it is you're supposed to do. Of course, some challenges make coordinating with friends to pull off a strange feat enjoyable, but like the proverbial box of chocolates, until you try one, you never know what you're going to get. Despite its inconsistencies and disappointments, there's a lot to like about Need for Speed Most Wanted. 
Fairhaven is a lovely and varied city that looks gorgeous no matter how fast or slow you're going. Police chases provide plenty of reckless, high-speed thrills, and seeing friends dominate the billboards in your city fans the flames of friendly competition in an innovative and very effective way. Need for Speed Most Wanted isn't quite a return to the racing paradise of some earlier Criterion games, but it's an exciting ride nonetheless. All units, bike strips can be used if required. Over. Dispatch, this suspect knows how to drive. Check your database for known street racers. 